Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we are making one pot Instapot spaghetti. Say that three times fast. One pot Instapot spaghetti. One pot Instapot spaghetti. One, one pot Instapot spaghetti. Okay, so I just, I love the Instapot because it's less dishes. I can put the stuff in and go as a busy mom, busy parent, busy anything, okay? So I just browned the hamburger. I put it on sear, brown the hamburger with my seasoning. And then I am going to uh, break up the spaghetti noodles. And I usually break them up in half. Um, actually, my kids usually help me with this and sometimes we'll break them up into like threes. So I'm just gonna put the spaghetti right on top. And then after that, uh, I have the and this is not the thin spaghetti. I know some people do thin spaghetti. And then I also break it up and I layer it different ways every other. I will show you. So I put it every other way. Oh, I didn't realize you can't see my Instapot. Ha! Sorry about that, guys. Okay. So I just have a little bit more to go. And this is a 16 ounce package of spaghetti that I have in here. And I just browned a ha um, one pound of hamburger, that's all I did. Okay, so now you can see that it's crisscrossed. So when I broke it up in half, I put half this way, half this way, and then I just kind of layered it up to the top. And next, I'm going to use spaghetti sauce. This is a 24 ounce jar of spaghetti sauce. I have garlic, herb, gluten-free, um, spaghetti sauce. I'm just going to dump it right in. This is where it would be a good boomerang. I love boomerang. Do you guys love that app? And then I'm going to fill this up with water and dump that in. I just use, again, I'm all about not using dishes. And so, plus I have to rinse this out anyways for recycling. So I'm going to um, fill this up with water or get it with water. I was gonna fill it up with water because this is sink, water, sink, sink water. Water sink, sink water. Okay, so I have jar filled with water. I'll rinse it out, put it right in there. I'm gonna do another one because we wanna make sure that the The noodles are covered. So, I will show you. So we got the spaghetti sauce in there and the water. And then I'm just gonna push it all down to make sure that it's all covered up. Because otherwise, sometimes your noodles will clump together and you don't want that to happen, so. I just push all these noodles down, make sure they're all covered up. And then I put the top on and cook it. Okay. There we go. It's all done. All done, ready for the top to go on. So when you put the top of your Instapot on, you wanna make sure that the lever is up so it is pressurizing. It does take a few minutes for it to pressurize. Um, so I, some people don't realize that, that it takes a little bit to pressurize up. Like when you hear, oh, it only takes eight to 12 minutes to cook. But they didn't realize it took, you know, seven to eight minutes to pressurize up. So now on my settings, I have, this is just the, the cheaper version from Walmart, but I really like it. So, and it was, we didn't know if we were gonna be doing Instapot or not, but I really like making um, the meals in here and letting them, okay, so I'm going to number eight. It's beans and lentils, right? Is usually what I do. No, not beans and lentils. What am I thinking? So my options are slow cook, slow, soup stew, rice, risotto, fish steam, steak, meats, chicken, vegetables, steam, beans and lentils, brown, sear. So, isn't there like a noodles? 
Gosh, you guys, I am just having an absolute brain fart today. Yes. Okay, and then you push time cook and you move it down to 12 minutes and start. Thanks guys for watching. Then you can top it with cheese or anything you like, add garlic bread to it. But see, it's all done and I barely have any cleanup in the kitchen. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you're having a great dinner.